All right, so we're gonna be taking a look at the dawning which will be the next free DLC for destiny Which will be coming December 13th on ps4. I'm pretty sure cuz I'm pretty sure this was all like revealed on ps4 I may not be right, but that's what I've heard Okay, so we're gonna be taking a look at the trailer and breaking it down and hopefully this all goes well If you guys do enjoy this definitely let me know because if there's ever another like trailer or something Um, I will be sure to break it down maybe more thoroughly. I'm not sure we'll, we'll see how this goes All right, so now we're gonna take a look at the trailer and uh, let's begin I'm gonna play it and be stopping it. So if you guys want to watch the full version, I'll have a link in the description It's the same trailer just that I won't be stopping it every like 10 seconds or whatever whenever I see something that I want to talk about I'll stop it. So Okay, let's let's begin Happy dawning guardian All right, so the first thing I want to point out is right here, the thorn ornament. Look at this thorn ornament. I'm pretty sure it's thorn ornament um, because it doesn't look like a normal thorn. But this this is the only time that it shows during the trailer. And I don't know, it's something cool that I want to point out because thorn's an iconic weapon. And finally, they're bringing an ornament to it, which will be pretty cool. So let's continue. Alright, so this whole DLC is gonna be a bunch of different things. It's gonna be like Christmas themed, it's gonna have Sparrow Racing SRL, it's gonna have new armor and stuff, kinda like the last April update. But here we go, this like first kind of section is gonna be about Sparrow Racing, which is cool, and they're gonna bring bounties and a bunch of stuff, but let's continue watching here. Alright, so as I said right there, new sparrows. So right here, they're going to show you some of the new sparrows. And this is cool because uh, at least me personally, last year, I never experienced sparrow racing. And a bunch of people told me it's not that cool, but honestly, it's going to be kind of fun. Um, it's going to make some fun videos, so. And new tracks, obviously, because they're not, I don't think they're going to recycle the tracks from last year because that would be really boring. But new sparrows, new tracks, it's going to be a bunch of new stuff. And what's cool is it looks like there's going to be like enemies that are going to be shooting you as you race. So you'll have to avoid those as you're racing. Okay, so in strikes, there's going to be scorekeeping. So at the end of strikes, I'm pretty sure you'll have a score and whoever has a high score, obviously, I don't know what they'll win or how that will work. But there's going to be a bunch of new things added to strikes, which will make them a lot more interesting, which is kind of cool. So I'll talk about that in a sec here. But before we start talking about the medals, I want to talk about the three exotics that people have been talking about since Taken King, which were the two Thunderlords and the rocket launcher that had like a ball attached to it. I'm not 100% sure about the rocket launcher, but the two Thunderlords I'm sure are coming because here we can see the solar one and there's clear gameplay of it as well as the void one that we'll see later on. But the medals, here's like one medal that there's going to be a whole list of medals, which is kind of cool, which will make striking a lot funner and just more interesting. <laughs> Here's one thing I want to point out, which one of my friends actually pointed out to me. So shout out to DCA. Last word ornament. Okay, last word is probably one of the most iconic weapons in Destiny. And that the fact that they never brought ornaments to it was kind of sad. But I think now they're bringing ornaments because as you can see here, you can kind of see right there. The last word is like black and yellow, I'm pretty sure. And I'm pretty sure that's an ornament because the last word is not black and yellow. But um, nevertheless, it's going to be amazing. <laughs> And here we go, here are all the medals, I'm pretty sure, because none of these look familiar if I don't, if I'm not mistaken, but I don't know, this looks crazy, it looks like there's gonna be a lot of new things to like earn and new achievements and a bunch of new things. Yeah, it's gonna be, it's gonna be a lot of fun. Vanguard would call on you once again. And then let's take a step back here and look at the armor they were wearing. So here we go, here's some of the armor or like a better look. I think the most like authentic one is definitely the hunter. Pretty sure that's a hunter on the left. Just just look at him. He, look, he looks ridiculous. And I'm pretty sure that's an icebreaker on his back because you can see the barrel right there. But he, they, he looks crazy. Like, just... Whoa. And then the warlock. This is actual armor that's already in Destiny, but it's not color-coded like that unless it's a shader, which I'm pretty sure it is. But that armor is in game right now. It's placed as an exclusive rare armor. So it's kind of useless, but it's kind of hidden at the same time. So it's kind of cool. It's kind of um, unique looking as well. I actually have it on my warlock. But uh, that's what that is. 
And then over here we got, I think that's the Void Thunderlord on his back and some new gear that he's wearing there. Yeah. No limits, no fear. You game? All right, so there's the Void Thunderlord. Let's, let's go back here. There's the Void Thunderlord. That looks, honestly, that looks ridiculous. That looks, that's easily the best looking Thunderlord. And then next we got the solar one, as we already saw. And then, okay, okay, let's take a moment to look at this Guardian. Look at, look at that armor. Let, let's appreciate this armor for a sec. I'm pretty sure this is going to be PlayStation exclusive. I may be wrong, but this is, this is freaking, holy crap, dude. Boggles my mind. And then we have the reason we're all here. Let's be honest, the Icebreaker, like the best exotic in Destiny. Maybe, maybe it's a Galahorn, but in my opinion, it's the Icebreaker. And personally, I don't like this white, I I'm hoping that it's an ornament because I don't like this white. It just kind of ruins it. Like, w what is this? Like, what, is, what, what are those? And then like the tip of it, just hopefully it's an ornament, but nevertheless, I'm super happy and hyped that they're bringing back one of the best exotics in Destiny, finally. And I don't know, it's gonna be, it's gonna be a lot of fun. Okay, and then there they just have like a bunch of gifts. Like I don't, I don't know like what that is. A bunch. I don't know what those are gonna give, but like you can obviously see the Titan here with his like horns or something on his head. Like he looks like super happy. So maybe they'll bring some good cosmetics. They're bringing a bunch of new masks, which is also cool. We'll probably talk about that in a sec here. Alright, so get your wallets out because you're going to be spending a whole heap load of money on these new things. This is going to be like Festival of Lost, but Christmas edition, plus SRL, plus some new gear. So it's going to be a lot of fun, a lot, a lot of new things, which is what Destiny needs right now, honestly. I mean, honestly, just look at them. Like, what is that? It's like a snowman with, like, strawberries and, and chocolate chips, but it looks like it wants to eat your face off. And then this one just looks like a giant blue engram. I, I don't know. Got time for a race? Alright, and I wanna... That's pretty much it, but... Alright, here is the Red Death Ornament. We are, we're pretty sure we already saw this a few weeks ago. It got leaked, and there's a bunch of videos on that. But there's another look at it if you guys wanted to know or see it. That's... The Dawning begins December 13th exclusively on destiny rise of iron all right so that's pretty much the trailer that was the best breakdown i could do we probably could have broke it down more but then it would have just been really long and tedious and there's not that much to see that you probably couldn't see with your own eyeballs but i mean i had a lot of fun if you guys want me to do this with any other trailer like please please let me know because i i don't know i don't know you could hate this you could love it i don't know i don't know if i did a very good job because i'm horrible at explaining things but nevertheless i hope you guys enjoyed Leave a like if you guys enjoyed. Like, the likes recently have been insane. We get, like, 30 likes a video. If we could get 30 likes in this video, my mind will be blown. But I hope you guys enjoyed, and I will see you guys later.